TY 2023 Total Body Day 1 Off Season 1 First up, front squats Remember our cue for this lad So there's a rope attached to our elbow at one end And the ceiling at the other So as we move down, that rope is going to pull on our elbows Keeping them upright Similar to all our squat pattern movements We move those hips backwards first Okay, so flex at the hip before we flex at the knee Pushing our arse back, sitting on that imaginary chair behind us. Elbows, notice how they stay up. So that rope is yanking on my elbow, the other end attached to the ceiling, keeping them nice and upright. In terms of our back position, imagine someone's got a rope attached to your back and they're pulling on it. So the back stays nice and straight. Slow and controlled on the way down and powerful on the way up. I have slowed the video down a little bit just for explaining purposes, but keep a tempo, three, two, one on the way down and then explosive on the way up just as we can see from behind we don't want our hips shifting at all so up and down one flat line okay one straight line i should say rather imagine there's two walls either side of our hips just so we can see the lower extremity here so looking at my feet position you can still see there the hips flexing before the knees do okay feet nailed to the ground now i'm doing this just in socks here if you have big chunky footwear, I would recommend going in your socks to keep them feet nailed to the floor, just so we can get in the habit of that. All we need to go is down to parallel, and then we can come back up out of the hole. Next up on Total Body Day 1 is our barbell bench press. Before we set into the bench press, we're going to pinch the shoulder blades back, and we're going to maintain them in that position. So pinch back, touching off the bench. Just slightly outside shoulder width, so similar to a push-up grip, making sure our hands are even. The way down, I want you to imagine we're snapping that bar in half, keeping those shoulder blades pinned back against the bench. We press up and a little bit back. Keep the back locked in. So those shoulder blades pinned back will help keep that back locked in. Keeping that tempo as well. Three, two, one on your way down and explosive on the way up. For our chin-ups, we're going for four sets max reps lads make sure you are doing full repetitions when you're on your own over this off season period full extension at the bottom full lockout at the top chin up over the bar for ordeals we can go barbell or dumbbell pin those shoulders back squeeze the 50 in between the shoulder blades remember hips hinge upper body's the door just rotating around those hinges so keep pushing those hips back stick the arse out to the wall behind you while maintaining that straight back let that bar ride down the legs to keep us in check. If we let that bar come out, it's going to pull our back forward and out of position. Moving on to single arm dumbbell shoulder press. So we're in a nice strong base, slightly wider than shoulder width stance with a slight bend in the knee. Imagine you're in a box, okay? So you can't move forward or back. You can't move side to side. All that can move is that arm going up and down. So I've got my bend in my knee there. I've got my nice flat back core is switched on all it's moving is that arm going up and down after the single arm shoulder press we're onto a chest supported dumbbell row if you don't have a bench available to you just go with a single arm dumbbell row you can see here my chest is obviously supported by the bench hence the name full extension at the bottom and I'm going to hold that squeeze for a second at the top, keeping the elbows tucked in like we're cranking the lawnmower. So row up, hold for a second and let the, the, the shoulder blades extend out fully. Finishing on our core super set, we've got dead bugs with side planks. So dead bugs, we're going opposite and resetting the center every time. So right arm forward or right arm back, left leg forward and vice versa. Keeping that tennis ball between chin and chest. Okay tucked in to keep that rib cage crunched down that is supersetted with our side plank and we don't want our hips down at the floor so you can see i have my hips high and you'll get a better picture now i have a straight line from my ankle all the way up to my shoulder okay so i don't have my hips falling back i want to squeeze my glutes what that does is it pushes my hips through maintaining that flat line 